Hi, welcome to Journey to Hydroponics. If you are new to hydroponics, one of the easiest vegetables to grow is what we call pechai, the pavita variety, which is a pest resistant vegetable. Pechai is similar to bok choy or pak choy in that it is a leafy green vegetable belonging to cruciferous vegetable category such as mustard, broccoli, and kale. Cruciferous means cross-bearing because when it grows, the first four petals of the pechai resemble a cross. So let's begin growing pechai from seeds. Sterilize the moist cocoa peat either by pouring boiling water onto it or by microwaving it for about three minutes. Once the cocoa peat has cooled down, squeeze out the excess water and transfer it to your seedling container about two to three inches high. Dig a hole about half an inch deep to hold the pechai seeds. Then spray them with treated water. Now treated water for me is water that has been kept on an open container for at least a day so that the chlorine is released through evaporation. After spraying the seeds with treated water, cover them and spray one last time. I like to place a plastic sheet above the cocoa peat to help retain its moisture. And I also place weights like these wood planks so that the seeds are pressed onto the moist cocoa peat. Then, I place the container inside a box so that the seeds can germinate in darkness. On the fourth day, I took out the plastic sheet and weights. You can see the start of the seedling, so you can now expose them around 1 to 2 inches below your LED lights. By the way, I'm using four LED lights. These are the same LED lights you probably use to light up a room. They are the T8 LED daylight tube lights that are around 60 to 18 watts. They give out over 2,000 lumen and over 5,000 Kelvin. So on day four, you can also bottom feed the seedlings with treated water. Pour and leave around five millimeters deep of treated water. In my environment, I usually do this watering every two to three days to ensure that the cocoa peat remains moist. On day 11, you can see the third leaf appear. This is when I now use half-strength nutrient solution. Half-strength solution is basically using one half treated water mixed in with one half nutrient solution. The nutrient solution I'm using is a brand called Master Blend and this is the Master Blend formula I use for Pechai. I kept the pH level at 6.0. On day 14, I can already see four leaves. So from here on, you can now use the full strength of your nutrient solution. On day 21, the leaves are quite large and the seedlings can now be transferred. I will be using the Kratky hydroponic method so that each seedling will have its own container. The Kratky method is the simplest hydroponic method because it requires no pumps. It's perfect for growing green veggies under my bookshelf at home. And all you need is a container to hold the plant and another container to hold the nutrient solution. Let's get back to transplanting. Loosen the cocoa peat on the side of the seedlings. And slowly lift them up, being careful not to damage the roots. You can wash the roots with treated water to make it easy to separate them 
and to clean out the cocoa peat. Get your container that will hold the seedling. You may use 2 inch net cups like these, but I prefer to reuse these 8 ounce plastic cups whose holes were made using a soldering iron. Fill up the net cup with cocoa peat and dig a deep hole in the center. And cover the seedling with cocoa peat up to the edge where the leaves start. Afterwards, pour some treated water on top to help compact the cocoa pea, which in turn helps the seedlings settle down. The containers I use to hold the nutrient solution are recycled food jars. Some of these were previously holding yogurt, some were peanut butter, and some were holding fruits. You will notice that I also cover the jars with aluminum foil to prevent outside light from penetrating and causing algae to grow inside. I fill the jars up with nutrient solution a little above the edge of the plastic cup so that the nutrient solution touches the cocoa peat and the seedlings roots. Day 47, my first batch of harvest. I harvest by cutting out the lower, larger leaves and leave about four leaves on top to encourage the plant to continue to produce more leaves. So you can harvest pet chai in batches. Now don't forget to check the level of the nutrient solution throughout the plant's growth. So there you have it, growing pet chai from seeds. Thank you for watching and hope you continue to stay tuned to this channel. Till our next video, bye bye.